Hello students. Today we will going to say about the unit operations in food process engineering. Why we have to study the unit operations? Yeah, here is the answer. The food industry mainly depends upon the biological materials which are greatly vary in the composition and also in the complicated structure. And storage of this biological material will lead to change in the composition due to the environmental conditions such as temperature, humidity, etc. And the continuous conversion of the products will take place due to the chemicals and also by the microorganisms. So the final product of the food industry is uh, it's not stable. It continue, continuously going to change. And coming to the food process definition, it is the whole process from the raw material to the final product. And it will be represented by the flow sheet. And example for this process, as we know the sterilization, pasteurization, and the concentration of the juice, etc. And coming to the definition of this process, it is a set of activities or industrial operation that modify the properties of the raw material with the purpose of obtaining products to satisfy the needs of the society. And the final product from the food industry is should be greatly accepted in the market and it should be uh, in a condition with um, for the storage and also for the transport purpose. Coming to the food process engineering, it is the study of process engineering. It combines all form of physical processing and it is divided into small number of basic operations. It is called the unit operations. Example for this process are the heat transfer, uh, evaporation, size reduction process, centrifugation process, etc. And main objective of this food process engineering is to study the principles and the laws governing the equipments which are used in the different processes and also the uh, physical, chemical and biochemical stages of the different processes. And the studies uh, mainly focused on the transformation process of the agricultural raw materials into the final products and the two major laws which governing the unit operations is the law of conservation of energy and law of conservation of mass. And this unit process uh, will be typically uh, represented by means of the flow sheet. Here is the first example, fruit. It is the process of the uh, fruit juice making. From the fruit, the first step is the cleaning process and then the crushing process. After the crushing process, it goes to the pressing. From the pressing process, we get the juice of the concentration of 12 bricks and the, it is the 12 bricks is the concentration of the fruit juice concentration unit of the fruit juice and then it goes to the pre-concentration either by evaporation or heat process from the pre-concentration we get the juice of 15 bricks and it goes to the enzymatic treatment that is the microorganism activity takes place in the juice and then it goes to the clarification process clarification process is to remove the suspended materials in the juice and then goes to the evaporation the main process of the evaporation is to remove the excess uh, uh, moisture content in the juice uh, and then it go uh, after the evaporation we get the juice of uh, 70 bricks concentration then it goes to the cooling and it goes to at last we get go for the storage process this one is the another example for the extraction of the olive oil olives from the olives uh, the first step is washing the main aim of the washing is to remove the dirt particles in the olive seeds then it goes to the pressing from the pressing we get the oil and also the bagasse bagasse is nothing but a uh, waste material after the extraction of the oil it goes to the drying process and also to the extraction. From the extraction, we get the bagasse oil. Then 
uh, and coming to the oil uh, it undergoes a centrifugation process that is uh, it is one of the separation process of uh, oil and also the dust particles from that centrifugation process uh, we get the virgin oil okay student the, that's all for this today's class next class we will see about the different types of the evaporators thank you